We've all been taught that an object traveling on a circular trajectory with a constant speed requires an acceleration pointing inwards. But why? How can an object with constant speed still have a non-zero acceleration? To get an intuitive understanding, we look at the physics of an object bouncing from a wall. Whereas the parallel velocity remains unchanged, the velocity towards the wall gets reversed. With a change in velocity comes acceleration, which always points in the direction of change, in this case, away from the wall. Let's now apply this principle to various setups with an increasing number of walls. When we draw the acceleration vector for each time the object bounces, a pattern emerges. All of these vectors point towards the center of the figure. And if we then keep adding walls, eventually the setup will approximate a circle along which our object travels and exhibits the same familiar pattern. And thus we arrive at the conclusion that circular motion requires acceleration to constantly change the direction of velocity without changing its speed.